you're here with me, Hello! Hello! Today we are going to show you how to make a pasta dish. A pasta dish, a different type of pasta it dish. It is a different type of pasta dish. Yeah, are you just looking at me to confirm? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Using pasta. Ready-made pasta. Yep, yeah, ready-made pasta because everything's nice and simple on here. Yeah. And it uses butternut squash, goat cheese mm -hmm. and, and pine nuts. We've just told everybody. Well, have a look at the ingredients anyway, because we've got to go down to it. Yes. But, but I'm just saying that yeah, different that's, type of pasta. Yeah, different dish. type of pasta, but that's not all of it, because it's baked in oven. <gasps> oh. I said something else again. We might as well not bother doing it. No, no, that's, that's it. it. Video's yeah. over. Yeah, we'll just so put now. a picture. Yeah. It's not all done now. Yeah. But how did we even come up with this one? It was I weird. I was trying to think about that earlier, but... I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We just came up with the idea once because we've been roasting some veg. Oh no, another thing we've given away. Yeah, we've been roasting some veg, and it just we just came. I don't know how we came up with it, but here we go. So it is actually uh, a title of the pasta dish is pasta with guess what <laughs> butternut squash and goat cheese, bit of basil, bit of herbs, bit of other things, and baked in oven with a nice crispy. Uh, parmesan top. Yeah. So, as always, it's really, really nice. As always, let's go down to the ingredients. Oh. And here we have the ingredients. We will start from. Where are we going? Oh. Where are we going? And we're going to start from there. There. Yeah. So there we have a balsamic vinegar. Lovely. Olive oil. Not much. There's not a great deal in there. Not much. Well, there'll be enough. <laughs> yeah. Salt, pepper, pasta. Now we're using penne pasta for this. Penne. And butternut squash. It's a big one. She's a big one. It's a big one. Some fresh basil. Oh, I love Lovely. the smell of basil. Yeah. Oh, I've got my nose in. I'm coming this side. Um, and that is Gran Padana. I said Parmesan, but Gran Padana, I didn't mean. You can use yeah, either. Either. Goat's cheese and the rather extortionate pine nuts. But rather but extortionate, not, but, but it's so, so tasty. And that's it. So you might be thinking, there's no sauce there. There's no <laughs> sauce. We will see. And all will be revealed. Now to In the, the prepping. the next stage. Let's prep. Let's prep. Here we are at the prepping stage. Now with this, there is not that much to prep, to be fair. That's why it's so, such, a, such an easy, simple dish. So what we are going to prep, you're not going to watch it all because you might fall asleep. Mm. We're going to pre uh, prep this big aubergine. So I'm just going to start. Aubergine? To, oh, why did I say aubergine? Aubergine, oh, butternut <laughs> squash. It's an aubergine in disguise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not really, it's a butternut squash. Why did I say aubergine? We ain't even got no aubergines in the house. Anyway, anyway, moving on. So down to here. This is how I usually do it. So take the top off and then I like to take the bottom off. They always are quite tough mm. to cut. And then I like to just go where that little round bit is and go like that. Mm. Yeah, so two ways you can two ways you can do it. Entirely up to you. You can come down, I'm using this knife, a nice sharp knife, take off and just follow the little bits of the curvature so you get them big strips or oh, good old good old peeler. You can see you have to go a few times, you know, in the same distance. So you're just waiting to get in the same distance in the same place, should I say. You're just waiting for it to get to that nice little orangey colour. Because as you can see, when you just take it first off, you're just taking a little bit of the skin. So again, whichever way you feel most comfortable. So I'm going to carry on peeling this and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to chop it up. Nice and peeled. Did you find that amusing? <laughs> Yeah, nice and peeled. So I'm just going to start chopping and just show you how, how I chop these. So this first bit, I usually take, because this is going to go on this on this tray 
and then be roasting the oven. I've already got the oven on about 200 degrees fan oven. So I'll just come down, I'm just going to chop it into pieces like this because we want it to roast off but we don't want it to take the you know, like ages on there. So I just usually chop it like that and then I'll go across, across. As I said, there's no right, there's no right or wrong way. Because once this is roasted, it'll be nice and soft anyway. And then probably just into little chunks. Yeah, they just need to be little bite-sized pieces, don't they? Yeah, yeah, little bite-sized pieces. I'm just going to chuck that on the tray. Yes. And then for this one. Uh, yeah, because that's where the seeds are. Yeah, look at you, take it over, yeah. So that's it, you've got the seeds in there. So way I way I do this, I then usually just quarter it and then get a little spoon, I'm just coming on to here. Let's get a little spoon, scoop the seeds out. Just find this is the easiest way. Scoop the seeds out and then with this one, just again, a little bit different. You can see because you've got your bigger bit and your smaller bit. And again, just put it into your bite size, bite size chunks. I'm going to carry on chopping the rest of this, mm -hmm. clearing all that out. Then I'll that be... one looks a bit too big, I've got to point that out. Alright, is that one too so big? What if I do that then? Too big, that's fine. Are you happy now? Yeah. Yeah. So once they're in the <laughs> chunks where your other half says, you know, they're good enough, then you know you can move on. But if not, you have to cut them to size. Or even sometimes it's surprising not even a ruler out or a tape measure to do this. So I'm gonna carry on chopping, then I'll be back just before I pop them into the oven. I'll just go and find my tape measure. Now the prepping's all done, and it is. I'm going down, yeah, up, oh, down, up, 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 hey, up, down, hey, up, down. So put it all onto our baking tray. So I'm just gonna drizzle this with a bit of olive oil and then season it. Now, you can, if you want to, um, on there, you can, do you know, like put a piece of baking parchment, is it called? I don't know, baking paper. Mm -hmm. You can put a bit of baking, baking paper parchment. on. Yeah, baking paper, because again, everybody's trays are different. I know we've had trays before and things have stuck, haven't they? Yeah. So that, that does help. It saves a bit of washing up. But as I'm just going straight on tray, then I'm just going to season them with a bit of salt. And then I'm going to put some black pepper. Oh, we've got the grinder that doesn't work. But I'm going to attempt to put some black pepper on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Attempt to put some black pepper on. I hope that you attempt black pepper better than I am, but not to worry. I can always add some in once it comes out of the oven. Right, so this, this is going to... Oh. <laughs> Where are we going then? Oh, yeah, I've got to keep you on your toes. Yeah. So this is going to go into the oven. I've had it, I've got it on the set 200 fan. I'm going to put it in for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to check it, just see if they need turning around. And then I'll be back when it's time to get the water on for the pasta and the other few bits. So into the oven it goes. And then we'll see what it's like in 30 minutes. It's lobster claw time. Oh we all know God. what that means. What does that mean? It means the beep has <laughs> gone off. Yeah, it's as simple as that. The beep has gone off. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get into here, get a facial. <laughs> Out. Open the door back. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Have, a, have a little look the, at them. The rubbish on the side. Yeah, past all the rubbish on the side. All our collection. So you can see we're just starting Ooh. to get some nice little. I would, yeah, I can't really see with all the steam. Uh, with all the steam, some nice little charred bits on. So all I'm going to do, they're all already getting nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Is just give them a little stir around. On there, chuck some on the side so you can make a mess so I can be told off. You can see nice little charry bits, but it, they're cooking really, really nicely. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're quite soft already. So, what I'm going to do for this, leave them in another 15 minutes, keep, keep having a check on them. 
it should they should be all right but what we want to do is char them a bit more so 15 minutes the oven's still nice and nice and hot all right can't lose that bit so all right sides are nice and clean everybody don't worry about that and we're only eating it you can see that's just with the little spatula it's going through nice nice and soft now mm -hmm. cutting that up so this is exactly what we want so i'm just going to pop that back in the oven And then, okay. so pasta is going to take about 12 minutes. Let me just pop that back in. If you want to go over to that side. More steam. More steam. The ingredients are laid out, ready? Yeah. Be assembled. Yep. So if we'll use the time wisely, as you do. So we've got the water on. Uh, we're about, just to get, bring that to boil. Uh, we're about, you know, just timing it so that we then come out of the oven. Got everything else lined up. So I'm going to drop the pasta in. First, nice big bowl of salted water. So it tastes like the sea. Plenty, plenty salted water. I'll come back and give that another stir in a bit when it comes back up to the boil. I'll just turn it back up a touch. Because I did turn it down, so we're going mad while I were talking. But we can always up and down, up and down. We've now got the gold going in. So warmed up the warmed up the frying pan. Now watch these like a hawk. Because what happens if you don't? They burn. They burn and they will burn very quickly, especially in a hot pan. You already smell them too, Steve. Yeah. And trust me, you do not want to burn your pine nuts. Yes, such a bit to see already the colour. Yeah, colour yeah, change. Yeah. So with this, just keep shaking about and moving them. They will not take long. Don't don't walk away from them. We've no. made that mistake oh, in the past. Sorry. Yeah, it just totally ruins them. You yeah. can't use them. And then you've got to chuck them away, and that is a. I pay another four pounds for another bag. <laughs> another bag. Depending if you go to other certain shops, where the two pound a bag. What shops that? I thought you got them from that one at the top of the road, the one with the big A. Our corner shop. I Not our corner shop. The one starting with A and Aldi ended in. Oh, Aldi. Yes. Aldi in Lilde. Yeah. Lilde. 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 Aldi. Aldi. Yes, they were much cheaper there, but I mean, after a while. Yeah. And it's not just for the top of our road. Oh, well, no. Well, it's, it's probably 10 minutes away. It's nowhere near the top of our road. It depends how close you want to go on that. But I mean, I, it doesn't mean, does it? <laughs> oh, no, it's on top of the road. I would just be in. It weren't that far away. You can see they're getting nice and toasty, and yeah, yeah. Ooh, the smell, smell is great. But I you can see, I'm just leaving them for a couple. Of, I mean, that's only on six, so medium heat. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going to keep tossing them. Keep tossing. Getting nice, nice and golden. Now, this is the colour that you want. That's why I'm showing you and how quick it actually takes to yeah. get these pine nuts done. Give them another little shake. Oh, smell that. Yeah, it smells amazing. Oh, lovely. Right. So we're nearly there. So just two sets with them. Some more. Some burning on my watch. Yeah, well, that's it. You're watching them. I think that's about. I think that's done. You don't want yeah. to risk. So as soon as they're done. Get them out of your pan because you don't want them to, you know, like burn in there. Oh, ouch, each, oh, ouch, eat, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And that's the pine nuts cooked, ready to go in. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Well, we'll be back when the pasta's cooked and the butternut squash is finished. The butternut squash has come out of the oven as it is over here. <laughs> yeah, oven. look, out of the oven, roasted off a bit yeah, more. So. Yeah, so all together nice. about mm -hmm. 45 to 50 minutes. Judge it like that. Um, you can leave it in longer if you want to char it off a bit more. So over to the pasta. So the pasta is cooked. I just took it off the took it off the heat. It's a little bit al dente, which is what you want because it's going to go into the oven. So to make 
make the bit of sauce or mm -hmm. the rest of the dish. So what I'm going to do is this nice little salted water. I'm just going to put a bit in there. Yeah. Yes, that's yes. steamy. steamy. It's very steamy. Water. And you can't really see it in the bowl, but it is there, look. Yeah. You can see a bit of movement there, look. Mm. It's going to come back. So I've just drained, so I've just drained the, the pasta off. And then we need to start. It is steamy, isn't it? It is quite steamy. It is quite steamy. Sorry yeah. about that. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm just going to put in first, I'm just going to get in the butternut squash. Thank you. I'm just get the butternut squash in. Oh, some nice little crunchy bits there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All adds to the flavour. Yeah. Get them. Oh. Scrape them little bits off, if you will. So scrub them on. Come on, you're going in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm staying on this tree. Oh, really? Ha <laughs> ha. You're in. Sorry, that got a bit competitive. Yeah, as a man fights with. Man fights with butternut, butternut squash. squash. Put that over there. And then just give that a quick little, quick little stir around. Just mm -hmm. to, just to mix everything. Then I'm going to add the pasta that I've drained off. Get that in. Start to give it a little stir around. And what we're doing, oops. Oh. <laughs> Flinging pasta, it's flown back yeah. in. Yeah, I want to escape. We're just starting to build up the little bit of base for it. And then I'm gonna put in some balsamic vinegar. I'll judge it on this in a bit. Put a bit of that in. Put a bit of olive oil just to help add a little bit more flavour in there. Get the olive oil in. Give that another stir. Oh, can you smell it? Mm. It's, coming it's coming together well. Mm. And what happens is as we're stirring it around, the butternut squash is starting to you know, break up a little bit as we're going around there. And then what happens is, I'm just about to add the goat's cheese in. I'll, do, I'll just put a bit of seasoning in first. Not too much because we just added that salty water in. Yeah. This time I've got a pepper grinder that works better. Oh, have you managed that? I just swapped it because I found another one in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I said better, it's yeah. marginal. You're gonna to have to get a proper pepper grinder. You, know. you see, when they stop working, <laughs> I just buy a new one. Yeah. And so you find half used pepper grinders. Yeah. Good, good Everywhere. crunch of pepper in there because it will take it this dish. Next, the butternut squash. Now this can get quite messy. I've no, that's goat's cheese. Goat's, goat's cheese. I've got it right, buddy. I haven't it today. You have. I've been calling aubergine. A butternut squash and aubergine. I've now called goat's cheese, butternut, butternut squash, squash, and just, yeah. So in theory then, the pine nuts, if they're next, should be goat's cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we just... playing that game. Oh yeah, the... Where the... you say the, the thing before, yeah. or the thing after. Did uh, uh, Alas Smith and Jones do a sketch on that? I think they did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're two runnies. Ooh, oh. could have been two um, runnies. Um, Not could sure. Have. Could have been anybody, really. Yeah, could have been anybody. We're just making it up. Yeah. So we get that in. I do like goat's cheese. I do. Yeah, some people aren't a big fan. No. So you it's can quite a distinctive taste. Yeah, so you could always, I suppose, replace this with some ricotta. I don't know if that would work, so I've never tried it. But if you don't like goat's cheese, then it's probably... It's probably not for you. Although you can't really taste it once it's baked. No, no, it's... It's there. It's just when it's raw, you can taste the goat yeah. cheese, can't you? Goaty, as they go did say. Yeah. It's too goaty. Too goaty. So now what we're going to do is I'm just squashing some of this cheese down, swirling it around, mm -hmm. mixing it. You can see it's starting to bring together a nice, a nice sauce. Ooh. What's that really? Oh, it was. No, Tan. Oh, 
That's oh, that's a right shot. That mm. just break up all that goat's cheese, and so you make sure you're coating all the bits of pasta on there. Chuck in my pine nuts, and then I've got my basil leaves. Tear them in. You can put them in old, chop them however you want. Add as much or as little. If you wanted to put any other herbs in, you know, uh, oregano or oregano, however you want to pronounce it, works well. So what, you, what you're looking for is a nice, loose, look at that butternut squash now. So it's all mixed. Stringy. Stringy and gone in. And again, an oozy. Mm. Not doing too much, so yeah. I want to keep some, some bits. Right, over here. So I'm going straight in to the big dish. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Smells great. Oh, oh, oh. now that, that's I know what... you've said sauce, but it's not actually. It's not, it's not a sauce. It's not sauce. It's... It, just, it does taste saucy, doesn't it? I wouldn't say it tastes saucy. All right, what would you say it tastes like then? But I'm just like, oh, yeah, oh. slapping it everywhere. Slap it everywhere. Oh, look at that bit of basil missed out. Chuck that mm -hmm. on. Don't miss any basil. No, no, is it? Oh, can't miss that pine nut. No, yeah, right. oh, then in a bit, there'll be somebody pine nut fishing oh, when, it, get, when yeah. it gets served eventually. Yeah. yeah, always difficult to present and take photos of. Yes, yes, right. So, the next bit, just to finish it off before it goes in the oven. So as I took the butternut squash out, what I did was I dropped the oven down to 150. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just topping, topping it off with a bit more cheese. Half bit a bit more cheese. Look at that. Get enough cheese. Yeah. And also what the cheese does, it should nicely melt. It should go crispy in a few parts, but it protects the little bits of pasta from drying out too much in the oven. So grate as much or as little as you like, but I like to have a good, good coating of cheese. Look at that. Mm. Right. So in the oven, 15, 20 minutes, we'll keep checking it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be back to take it out and have a look. So apparently I need to take it out of the oven in case you were wondering where I've been. <laughs> yeah, me and my man yeah. has ended up being you. Mostly me, which is sometimes I just had this revelation. I've just, I've just sat by with a cocktail and yeah. book. Not cocktail Tuesdays. Cocktail Tuesdays. <laughs> cocktail Tuesdays, nice Tuesdays. yeah. Swanning away filming. But yeah, me and my man needs to be both for us. Well, then, yeah, but then again, some of the videos it's only been us, but hey. Anyway, no, and she likes wearing lobster gloves. What's it like? Oh, that's nice. So that's done. Oh, that's sniff test. Let's oh. have a look. Yeah, this crunchy bit is definitely on oh, there. Oh, let me get in close. Look yes. at that. Oh, we've got we've got the light. I'm just going to zoom in a touch. Look, I'm just going round. Look at them crusty bits. Mmm. And then, do you want to put it down on the side? Da, yes. da, da. There we go. Now, what would you say to that while you just shut the window? What would I say to it? Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm just trying you to get... Sorry, I'm getting it. Yeah, just coming in, having a good look round and then back. And then forward. I'm just trying to confuse camera. It's yeah. Light, no, light, light's decided to come off camera, but... So, there you have it. And what do we have? Oh, oh just moving right round. We have... Pasta with roasted butternut squash. Yes. Aubergines. It's aubergines. Goose cheese. <laughs> could be out with me Pine talking. Nuts. That's why I don't need to talk. Yes. Baked in the oven with basil and parmesan topping. Yep. It's very really tasty. Very easy to make. Yeah. Hardly any ingredients, but so so tasty. So if you don't mind, and all, a bit different. A bit different. Yeah. I haven't seen it anywhere else because we made it up. That's it. <laughs> Well, it might be out there. Never look for it. Uh, but we're going to say bye-bye now because that is our tea. We are very, very hungry. We are. And we need to tuck in. So until next time. See you soon.
Bye.